Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our torpedo boat. As you guys can see right here, we have ourselves a bridge, we have ourselves a machine gun, and a bunch of other stuff too, so um, that's kind of cool. We also have this other bridge down here as well, just in case we need to drive it from the inside for whatever reason, uh, and that is actually pretty awesome. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I want to actually start by... Um, adding a way to get downstairs. Essentially, I want the downstairs to be useful. Uh, we're gonna be able to get down there to fix the engines, and we're also gonna build the engines today. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so here we are. How do we actually want this to work then? I'm not entirely sure. I think we're gonna go ahead and build it so that you have to sort of, like, squeeze through places in order to get to places. Uh, we're gonna do it symmetrically so we can actually get in from both sides. Let's go ahead and flip this over real quick and do this. And, um, yeah, I think this is actually going to be pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and do these guys across the top of here, attach these guys together, and, uh, essentially this is going to be its own little secret corridor where we can go inside and get downstairs. I think that just makes a little bit of sense, so that is why we are doing it. Let's go ahead and do this, and we'll also attach that on, and there we go. A little bit of a box, but that's fine. So, we go inside of here, and we go down the stairs. How do we do that? I don't know. Haven't worked that out yet. But anyway, stairs? Let's go ahead and try and fix this in, and uh, see if it'll look right. Whether it will or whether it won't, I'm unsure, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and whack that straight onto there like so. Uh, we're going to bring it down uh, a little bit, so like this. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, there we go, okay. Um... Maybe to about there, I guess. That's fine. Okay, grab this color again and do this kind of thing. There we go. Attach these guys together just like this. And I think we should be able to uh, go this way because there's a little bit of empty space there. So we can just delete these guys. Delete these guys. I guess it's a little bit open. Nah, it is a, it is a little bit open there. So actually, we'll go this way uh, and hopefully that'll be fine. So delete a bunch of this. Um, allow the stairs to come down. Delete these three and grab ourselves one of these. And we should be good. So smack that under there. Continue this a bit down into the floor. And there we go. Whether I want it to go a little bit further or not, I'm not sure. But for now, let's leave it like that. And hopefully it'll be good. Anyway, let's do this. And this. There we go. And we'll also do uh, this. Bam. There we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, that works. We'll also just attach this guy on here like this. And let's go ahead and test it out. So now if we go ahead and jump onto the boat... Just like so, we should be able to open up this and crawl inside, and then we could go downstairs into the bottom, where we do sort of have to crawl around, but we will be okay. Um, anyway, yeah, you have to sort of crouch around in here. I'm sure that's fine, but if I made it a little bit taller, we would be able to just walk around. Should we do that? I'm not sure. Honestly, I think it might be a little bit nicer to do that, so that is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and delete all of this all the way to the rear, about there. Go ahead and delete all of this down the front end, all the way to about there, and keep it going. There is a lot of this to do, um, but we can do it. So there you go. And now we're going to move it down, and hopefully, hopefully it will look nice. All right, there we go. So go backwards to there. We're then going to continue with these guys, which of course is going to work, hopefully. So from there backwards, and then from here, we're just going to go sideways, all the way down the end, just like so. And honestly, it doesn't really impact us all that much doing this, so I'm happy with doing it. Alright, send it all the way down to the front end, which is about there. Whack one of these guys onto here like this, and I'm going to change the inside colour to actually be uh, grey. There we go, so we can actually see. Okay, so now if we spawn it in and we go on the inside... Do 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 do. Can we stand up, is the question. Yes, and so now we can actually run around downstairs, and that is awesome. Okay, so, uh, let's start this off then at the bottom, down the stairs, and, uh, what we'll do is... I kind of want to make sure that, uh, we have doors everywhere, sort of like bulkheads, but not really. Uh, but essentially I'm going to attach this up to there, that's good. We're going to have doors surrounding this. So, door, let's go ahead and grab one. Uh, it is going to all be these guys, here we go. So, this is going to go, in fact, just here like this, there we go, and we're going to do another one in the corridor like this, and that is going to be awesome. So we can do that, we can separate these guys apart, and that is great. I am actually going to go ahead and build a wall on the inside of these two. Um, might not be the best way of doing it, but that is how we're going to do it. Uh, and then if we go this way, 
We're gonna have to go here as well. We'll build another wall all the way to the front and that'll be fine. So we need to build um, something into the front like right here, which is going to be like our beds, probably. We're going to have a little kitchen in here as well, because I think that'll be awesome. Um, and yeah, there's a lot we can actually get away with doing in this, to be honest. So we will. <laughs> or at least we'll try. All right, go ahead and paint those guys, paint this guy. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to have to do is put these guys in right here. Seal this up off there, seal this up right here, and this little bit down here as well. Um... In fact, do that piece right there. What we can do is this guy across here, and we can do it across there. And we will have to squeeze past it when we are in there, but that's okay, I think. All right, there we go, over to there, and then seal it like this, and that is awesome. Yeah, not too shabby whatsoever, actually. We'll seal this off too, if we can. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like so. And yeah, I think that honestly just it just works. It just works. All right, go ahead and smash this under there as well, just because we can. Ba 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 bum, and there we go. So the back is going to be where the engines go, straight backwards into this room. Uh, if we go sideways into here, um, we both get to the same place. So that's fine. Actually, one side could maybe be the toilet, and the other side could be where we drop, um, where we get through to the front end. That's probably a good idea. Anyway, I wasn't going to work on this today. All I wanted to do was make sure we could put the engines in. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so how big do we actually want these engines to be? I would say actually really large. So uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to do this. But essentially, let's go ahead and put this onto here like this. They are going to be mahusive, uh, just like so. I don't know how many that was, actually. Let's go with let's go with like a nice number, like a 15. Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, 10 of those, which means we'll have like a 20-cylinder engine. But actually, we'll go with something more like... Uh, 17 or something like that because uh, I think that just makes a little bit of sense a little bit anyway Right, so one two. Oh, there's gonna be loads of these two three four five six seven eight nine and ten All right, actually wait There's gonna be nine. I don't want that back end to be quite like that So there you go, and we're gonna go ahead and do these guys as well in fact actually no We'll just move this forwards, and then it'll be fine Okay, uh, grab that put it on there like so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And then these guys as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that is 40 cylinders. <laughs> that is a bit insane, but sure. So grab all of these all the way over this side. Grab all of these all the way over this side. And grab the bottom ones too. We're going to cut them. I'm going to move them forwards by about two. There we go. Paste them there. Merge these guys down, and that is going to be A-OK. -okay. What I'm going to do from there is I'm going to actually attach these guys on. So there's one, uh, there's two, and we only need three. There we go, because then they're all technically attached together, so that's fine. Uh, and we could go from there. All right, next thing, we need a clutch. Go ahead and smash the clutch onto the back of there. Excellent. Um, on the front, we're going to need starters and alternators and stuff like that as well. So get ourselves a belt drive, whack it straight onto there. We're going to get an alternator. Smack that on first. We're going to get a starter. We're going to go ahead and put that on as well. We're going to go ahead and get a pump as well. So we'll go ahead and smash this under here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to delete that guy. Um, but that's going to be fine. Okay, hopefully we can get away with this. Okay, so now that we've got that then, let's go ahead and attach all of this together. We're going to have to have an air supply as well. So let's go ahead and smash one of those onto here. We're also going to have to have a... Um, Fuel supply as well. Actually, that's going to go there. And the air supply is going to go on the other side as well, just there. Okay, because I want to hide a lot of it, and I actually probably want to go with this all the way down this side. I know that seems a little bit strange, but I think it makes the engine look nicer. Uh, and at the end of the day, I want this area to look quite cool. So, if we can, let's go ahead and go to the front and grab all of this. Go ahead and cut it, and we will move it upwards to about there. And we'll paste it in really high. Now, if you're wondering why, it's because I think it'll look cooler uh, once we build them in. Maybe. Okay, so fuel tanks isn't actually something that I uh, I really thought about. And what I'm going to do for the fuel tanks is I'm actually just going to have them in the side. I know that seems like a really weird and strange place to have them. Uh, but honestly, this is the only area we have left that doesn't have anything in it. So, um, yeah, they're going to go in the sides. Um, yeah. I don't know whether it's a good idea or a bad idea, but we'll try. Okay, delete this first, go ahead and whack that onto there, and then all we need to do is get ourselves a fluid port that goes straight into there, 
and that will be okay. All right, cool. Underneath that, we're going to get our spawner. Yep, and we also need a meter as well underneath that one, and we should be good. Yes. Okay, good. Bam. So now we got fuel in the sides. Let's see if it still floats. It's going to be quite a lot of fuel, not going to lie. And it does still float. Excellent. All right, so the next thing then is actually our air supply. How are we going to use this? I actually don't really know, so this is going to be kind of interesting. But anyway, that's going to go up there like that. We'll go ahead and pipe it straight up into the ceiling, kind of. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then I think we can get away with some little airports uh, on top of this. I say airports, I mean like airports. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying there, but there you go. Anyway, these guys are going to go up like this. We're then going to go ahead and attach uh, an angled piece to the front of that like so. And we're going to go ahead and get a fluid something or other to go on the front of there. I might actually go with one of these. Um, and then we need to build around that essentially. So we're going to do this. All the way up to there, we're going to do this, all the way up to there, and these guys as well, and that's going to be fine. Unfortunately, they're kind of in the way of where the torpedoes were going to go, um, but the torpedoes might still be able to fit, maybe. Uh, if not, I can actually just move this over by one, or something like that, and it should be good. Alright, here we go, do these, do this, do this guy, there we go, and up one more, question mark? I don't know, actually. How do I want this to work? I'm not sure. I might just leave it like this. I was going to make it all, like, sealed in, but this doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look terrible, so we might keep it. Might keep it just like this. Bam. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it looks a bit strange, but we can go with that. We can, we can roll with this. Okay, I'm actually going to delete this guy and whack one of these in. I'm also going to put one there. And the other thing that I'm going to do is actually go in here and just grab one of these and do this. Yeah, they don't look bad at all. We can keep those. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and move them in just a little bit, just so we don't get in the way of, like, any torpedoes or anything like that, because the torpedoes are actually the main bit of this vehicle. So go ahead and cut this, move it over twice, maybe. Go ahead and put it there. Go to the other side, go ahead and cut that one as well. One and two, go ahead and paste that there. And then what we should be able to get away with doing is merging these guys down, uh, deleting this guy. One, two, there we go. And essentially piping these into the other bit, and that should be good. All right, okay, cool. So spin these around until they fit. Go ahead and put one on here as well. Hopefully that's the right way around. It is. And then we attach these guys together with a straight piece, just like so. And that is awesome. That is awesome. Unfortunately, um, it leaves a bit of a gap there, but we can just paint that that color, and it'll be okay. Good. Okay, so moving on then, we need engine stuff. So let's go ahead and get this color and start building in engine things. So we need a manifold, which is for cooling. That is going to go right here. Uh, and hopefully we're able to attach these guys together properly. So pipe. Yes. Let's bring this down straight away. Bam. Then let's send it into there. Awesome. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and send it down uh, into the sea, I guess. And from here, we're going to go straight down also, which is very weird. Um, there you go. That's going to go straight down. This is going to go straight down. I'm going to go to the underside, delete that, delete this, and get ourselves some fluid pots, and that should fix it. Whether it does or whether it doesn't, I'm not sure, but we'll see. We will see. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. Uh, which way round is this, actually, I should say? This is in. Ah. No, we actually need that to be out. We need that one to be out, but I don't know if there's a way of me, like, switching this around to be out or not. Unless I did it that way, which, no, it's still in. There's no way of me fixing that the way that I need to fix that. Um, okay, just send this across. Go ahead and send this into there. Okay, weird so far. So far, so weird. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so that's in, and then out is just going to come out the side of the engine, go straight down, and into the floor. Yeah. Okay, that might be a bit weird. Might be a little bit weird, uh, but there. Okay, cool. So grab one of these, whack it on there, go ahead and paint this piece this color. And on the other side, I don't know whether we can actually change the sides without painting the bottoms. Oh, I can, turns out. I can! Nice! Okay, good. So all that's in, let's go ahead and uh, barrier all this off, essentially. There we go. And we'll do the same thing right here. Awesome. And at the front end, we're going to do a similar thing. 
Just raise this up. Go ahead and do all of this, uh, like so. And that is fine, I think. That will be A-OK. -okay. Bosh. Yeah. I mean, they're sort of in there, and I, I think it sort of looks okay, so that's all that really matters. All right, so we got air, we got fuel, we have coolant. Uh, we now need exhaust. I'm not sure where the exhaust should go on this thing, to be totally honest with you guys. So let's just type in engine, yes. And I feel like the exhaust could clearly just go straight out the floor, uh, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and smash it onto the back of here and we'll send it out sideways, which will go here. One, two, three, four, five. And that will go out the bottom right here. Okay, that's probably fine. Okay, cool. So, whack that on there, turn this around, whack it on there. Get ourselves a fluid port, like this one. And our fuel, our, our exhaust, is actually just going to come straight out the floor. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's okay. Alright, so, angled pipe. In fact, do it in the right colors, otherwise you'll have issues. But put that on there, go ahead and flip it over so it goes downwards. And then grab a straight piece, downwards, into there. Like so, and that is mighty fine. Okay, so the engine should actually work now. That would be great. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get a key, and we're going to go ahead and put it up here, so that if we need to start the engines, we can do it from the uh, flybridge. Kind of want to do the same thing down into the actual other bit as well, uh, down here. But I suppose if you want to start the engine, you can do it from either. So if this attaches onto there, and this attaches onto there, and then uh, da -da -da, this attaches onto these, we should be good to go. So that's the starter, and that's the starter. However, it's not going to do that, because we need a microcontroller to sort out these engines. Okay, so here we are, we have ourselves the microcontroller. Let's go ahead and send it backwards to where the engines are, and we'll actually just go ahead and place it where the engines themselves are. So go ahead and put this in here like this, paste it. There we go, press U, take it to the other side, and essentially just attach all these guys together, and that should be good to go. Okay, so I've never actually used one of these before, but a numerical junction, I believe, is what we need. So, I'm gonna go ahead and smack this into the front end, uh, just like so, and essentially, this goes to... Oh no, that's not right, this isn't quite right. Ah. No, this is wrong. You know what, for now, we'll just use the flybridge, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and figure that out afterwards. Anyway, air manifold and air manifold, there we go, awesome. RPS, just attach it to any one of these, any one of these. And fuel throttle goes to the fuel throttle, which is right there, and also right there. Okay, so that's every one of these attached. Now it should actually work, it should be able to drive, kind of. We don't have any propellers yet, but the engines themselves should actually uh, work, which is awesome. Uh, with that being said, what else do we need to do? There is, there is definitely more that we need to do. Uh, let's go ahead and just add a gearbox to this, and that'll be fine. There we go, so smash that onto there like so. We'll go ahead and make this like, I don't know, three to two. There you go, and on the other side we'll do the same thing. Three to two. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And now we need some actual, um, <laughs> actual propellers and stuff. I don't know how this is gonna go, but sure. So, let's get ourselves a rudder to begin with. Here we go. Let's grab one of these. Go ahead and get it in the right color. And smash that onto the back end, just like so. Uh, we'll make them go inwards a little bit and we'll put them there. Okay, with that being said, actually, um, let's undo that. Oh no. No, 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 no. Redo. But delete this guy. No. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. And then put this one on the same way as that one. And then we should be good to go. Bam. Nope, that didn't work. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. So now that those are on, let's go ahead and put a box at the top of this. Attach these guys onto there like this. There we go. And then we need a propeller that comes straight in to face that one. Okay, so uh, I think we can do it out of here, but I'm not sure. Pipe. Let's see if it works. Do, 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 straight pipe. Whee! Okay, to there, get ourselves a propeller. And I think we'll be good. Large propeller. Ah, oh, we can't actually smack it on there. Okay, I thought that might be the issue, so let's go ahead and undo everything that I just did. Delete this one instead, and that should work better in anyway. So, pipes. Da 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 da. Yes, go ahead and whack this one on here. Yeah. Go backwards there. Go ahead and get ourselves a propeller, which is going to be golden. Like this one. Smack it onto there just like so, and that should be mighty fine. Whether it is or whether it isn't, I don't I don't know, but sure. There we go. Go ahead and put this piece right here like this. Unfortunately, I'm not doing it on both sides. Don't know why, but sure. Um, and there we go. Okay, cool. So, go ahead and copy this and this, and including this. Go ahead and copy it. Press U, take it to the other edge, the other side, and paste it there, and merge it all together again. There we go. 
Okay, fine. That's, uh, that is actually a-okay. Luckily, they're actually lined up as well, so get ourselves the right colors. Go to pipes, go ahead and send this one downwards, send it into there, just like so, and attach it on. Bam! There we go, so now, in theory, uh, this thing will move. Brilliant! Yeah! Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, we're using the flybridge for now as well, so W and S is gonna be for forwards. Uh, we'll just do clutch pressure on that. And A and D is gonna be for turning. There we go, awesome. And that'll be it. Okay, good. We do need to turn these on though, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, so let's get ourselves a number, which is just gonna be a constant number, and that will turn everything on all at once. And I think that's okay. So we'll just whack this right here, attach this guy to this one and this one, this one and this one, and that's it, I think. Okay, go ahead and make this one. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and see. Actually, make this 0.7. It's a bit weird, I know, but that's fine. Anyway, go ahead and select this guy and have a minus number so we can reverse and so we can reverse. Okay, attach those guys to a button as well, please. One is gonna be reverse. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Okay, are we ready? Is it gonna move? Is it gonna work? Currently, we don't have any electricity, but if we turn that on, we have electricity and we can go. Okay, turn the key. Wait, did I just turn electricity off? Aha, there we go. Okay, awesome, do this. Okay, good. Our steering is inverted, but it does in fact move. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, so I've changed the gears really quickly just to see if we can uh, increase the, uh, the speed we are going. There we go, okay, awesome, go. Because at the minute, our speed was a little bit slow, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but now, uh, it is a lot better. Okay, excellent. The last thing we're gonna do then, really quickly, is get ourselves a control surface. Uh, if we can, scroll up, go ahead and grab these guys, and we're actually gonna go ahead and start putting them in the bottom. Uh, if they'll fit, which I think they will, so go ahead and delete this guy. One, two, three, there we go, go to the rear, do the same thing. Uh, one, two, and three, boom, 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 and go ahead and paint that as well. Boop. There we go, and this one's already painted too. Nice. Okay, so hopefully that'll keep us a little bit more sturdy in the water now that we've added those guys. Uh, whether it will or whether it won't, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and see. I don't know why that turns off every time I do that. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, we are definitely a lot more sturdy in the water, and that is awesome. Okay, good. We've done- oh. Now we've started dolphin diving. I don't like when this happens, it's really annoying. Um, but yeah, we'll sort that out soon, that's okay. We need to add more texture to this thing, we need to add more details, and that will be amazing. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say we've done our job, we added a engine, or we added two, and uh, yeah, guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.